Anshul Matkar, uh, working as an uh, open source contributor at Open Research Institute. Uh, my contributions relate to researching for debris mitigation for future projects at ORI. Uh, also, I'm doing a FPG development for implementation of PBBS2 protocol. That's a DSG communication between the ground station and satellite. And also uh, working on dynamic scheduler over uh, real-time operating system. So these are a few of the projects that I'm uh, currently working on. And today, my presentation is about error correcting codes, a uh, special type of error correcting code or linear code. That's LDPC, low density parity check error correcting code. Uh, uh, I, 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 couldn't, I couldn't make a proper uh, PPT uh, I, I, because of a lot of math mathematical formulas involved. It, it was time consuming and uh, I found it very tough to uh, write on the formulas and PPD. So I thought a better approach would be to go for a whiteboard where I can show you the exact uh, how, how things work, how, how the calculations work, how the equation works. And uh, I thought that could be a better approach. So um, what I will be uh, covering in my presentation, I will be my, my presentation, this is uh, my presentation will be about uh, the error correcting codes, why we need it, uh, just to give you a brief, the communication channel between a ground station and a satellite is limited bandwidth and also is costly. So we don't want repetition of messages to be happening uh, because of the constraints that I just defined. So uh, we want capability at the receiver uh, to correct the message if, uh, if, if the message has corrupted uh, due to noise in the channel, we want the capability at the receiver to detect and also correct the message. There are some simple, simple, simple techniques available for that, like repetition of message, uh, sending duplicate message in a simple term, or there are CRC, um, which, which helps you to check the error, but, didn't, but it doesn't have the capability. Uh, it doesn't give you the capability to correct the error. So here, we will, uh, we, will, we will touch base on class of codes or uh, which a class of codes which gives you the capability to detect and also correct the error so that there is no repetition of messages from the transmitter to the receiver. And we are able to uh, efficiently utilize the channel that's available between the transmitter and the receiver or the earth station and the satellite. So initially I will start with linear code so uh, this is the reason why we need error correcting codes. So uh, we will start initially with linear code. That's the simplest form of uh, error correcting codes. Then we will move on to LDBC, which is a specific form of uh, linear code. And uh, then finally, uh, I will explain about how we can efficiently, efficiently implement uh, these in hardware. Codifying of message. Uh, it involves generator metrics and a parity matrix, uh, which are quite um, memory intensive. They, they require a lot of memory. So, and a lot of CPU cycles uh, and complex calculations. So these need to be efficiently implemented in the hardware or FPGA to get the best performance out of uh, codifying and coding and decoding of the message. In this presentation, I will be mostly focusing on, as I mentioned, linear codes and LDPC and the encoding part of it, uh, rather than uh, decoding part of it. That's again, a big topic uh, that can be covered in separate lecture. So this, uh, our separate presentation, this one, we focus on coding fine and uh, codes and basics about code. So broadly speaking, I will be covering uh, these three topics. First one is, linear codes um, and then there will be subtopics related to that um, how they are formed how they are formed it involves and further uh, parity check metrics uh, how we can use generator metrics 
and some samples or examples related to that few examples of linear codes how you can use that how how uh, we can use linear codes to codify your message so uh, we will be uh, all these are binary codes we will be focusing on binary codes that means a message can be in the form of zeros and one and uh, we assume um, that uh, in, in an idealistic world, zero will be transmitted and received as zero, one will be transmitted and received as one. Uh, that's an ideal scenario, but we have noise. So that's where these codes come into, comes into picture. And another thing is that we will aim for, uh, we will aim to achieve uh, Shannon capacity uh, for our channel through LDBC encoding. So the second bit we will touch is, LDPC encoding. So again, these are a type of linear code with a special type of parity check matrix and uh, constraint equations. Uh, so we will touch base or we will go into depth with LDPC encoding. And then finally, and another important step is how to efficiently implement these codes to codify your message in the hardware. So F B G A implementation. So these are the three broad topics that you can uh, expect from my presentation. Um, yeah, I think that this will give you a good understanding of how how and uh, why uh, we need this coding uh, and how we implement this uh, coding. Uh, for our communication uh, between transmitter or the receiver. Yeah, thank you.